So, for today's video, we're gonna tackle about Russell's approximation method. So, to perform um, Russell's approximation, first, um, we'll be having the source, then destinations, demands, and supplies. So, in performing Russell's approximation method, first, we have to arrange the value of matrix of transport cost and value of capacity of each source into columns and rows which are here and then step two is to find the highest cost value for each row and column so for example we'll be having this as the highest as the highest um, number of this column so we'll put number seven right here and in this is nine and right here is six and eight so next we'll be having which is four i seven seven So, the third step of our Russell's approximation method will be subtract each cost value on this column and rows at their highest cost. So, for example, we have right here 3. So, we're gonna put that I equals 3 multiplied by 7 minus rather multiplied by 7 plus the highest um, the highest cost right here here so we're just gonna subtract and add this one so the answer will be 3 minus 7 plus equal to negative 12 and this
this would be under step 3 so we're just gonna put the value of this cost right here so that you can understand Select the cell that has greatest negative value from the calculation of steps 2 and then allocate goods or products on the cell. So since we have negative 15 right here and here as the greatest negative value, we would allocate these transportation cells. So we have we we would choose here. It depends on you where you would um, answer first. So here since the demand is 200 and supply is 500 we're gonna choose 200 because it's the lowest cost of pieces so here 200 minus 200 would be zero and 500 minus 200 will become 300 and so the next step is here so we have 250 and 400 so same as what we did we're gonna put 250 and then 250 minus 250 would become 0. And then we have to follow the step that if it will become uh, 0 or, or it will already be satisfied or exhausted, we will mark this out. So this would be no longer used. So again, the next step would be at wait, 400 minus 250 would become 150. 150 so the next step again we have to repeat step 2 until step 4 until all products are distributed so next the highest would be this 12 12 12 so we're gonna choose which one we're gonna answer for so right here one so since 300 is the lowest, we're gonna put 300. So 300 minus 300 will become 0. Then 350 minus 300 become 50. Since this is already 0 and already satisfied, we have to mark this out. So again, let's choose. Just follow instruction, I mean, just follow step 5, which is to repeat step 2 and step 4 until the products will be all distributed.
So I forgot to put two, since this is already 200, so 200 minus 200 will become zero. Then the next step would be if the allocation has been completed, then calculate the distribution cost. So right now we're gonna calculate the distribution cost since every every sales or every transportation cost are already satisfied. So the last step would be if the allocation has been completed, then calculate the distribution cost. So total transportation cost. Would be we'll just multiply this so 300 times one, um, 250 times two multiplied by.